I bet you be let me be your loving teddy bear Put a chain around my neck and lead me anywhere Let me be your teddy bear I don't wanna be Hey, I'm JC with PLG Estates. I'm here with my partner, Lon Levin, and we are your Beverly Hills experts. But believe it or not, my friend here grew up in this house. Uh, not actually this house, but the house that was there before they tore it down. Right. And so this is 1175 Hillcrest Road. What you don't know about this house that I know is across the street is where Elvis Presley lived. Here's and you, you would normally find on any given day a half a dozen to a dozen girls standing outside the gate or putting little notes really? inside the gate. Yeah. This is Elvis's whole old house. And there was literally carving from some of the young girls, the Myras of Elvis of the time. <laughs> it's the house that happens to be opposite my partner Lon's house where he grew up in, which was directly opposite. He'll tell you a little bit more history yeah, about yeah, the Elvis house. Yeah, I want to house. tell you, uh, there's, there's something else that I hadn't told you before. Yeah. That uh, I did see Elvis all the time when I was going to school early in the morning. However, my dad, who was a producer, his name's Irv Levin, in the early 70s, produced a movie with Elvis in it called Charo. And I went on the set and met Elvis. And he said, oh, you're the kid who I see every morning. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that in. Anybody makes a move to stop me, one of you never makes another move. Again, we're experts. We know Beverly Hills like no one else. Give right? us a call. Give us a call. Give us a call. There you go. To the vlog um, I am in sunny California I'm down here at Venice Beach right where Marina del Rey meets Venice Beach and as many of you know maybe you remember before I started filming the show for Netflix I wanted to drop a little bit of the daddy fat so um, I got into boxing and then since I've been back from the show my life has just been so full of insanity I haven't been able to get back to boxing which is something that I really like so, it just so happens that one of the loveliest human beings on the planet, JC, as I lovingly call Johnny, is one of my agents at PLG Estates and also a former professional boxer amongst many other things that we're going to get into today. So, we're down here on the beach. He's going to, as we say in England, kick my ass as he puts me through a boot camp for boxing so I can get rid of, well it's not really daddy, but it's a little, oh, he, keep the camera up man, he, keep the camera up, don't be showing off my sexy legs. <laughs> All right, let's head over and meet JC, come on. Oi, oi, Captain. Bravo. <laughs> so this is JC, one of the loveliest human beings on the planet, um, ex-pro boxer, ex, well a lot of stuff, but we'll get into that later on today. So Johnny's very kindly offered to give me, and I don't really know why I took him up on it, but <laughs> he's offered to give me some boxing tips so that I can get a little bit more svelte. Although I'm thinking I'm feeling svelte and you don't need to work out to feel good about yourself, but that's a whole different conversation. So where do we begin? So. Pete, I know you are reluctant. I'm gonna wrap your hands because by the end of today, you'll be punching correctly, probably twice as hard as you've ever punched. Really? Yeah, and you're a big fella, and, and all that way you end up punching it easier to uh, hurt your hands. So, we're gonna wrap your hands. When you've lived 50 years, you've got you got stories, right? Well, so before UFC existed, 
Um, there was unlicensed underground fighting, which basically was like um, regular boxing, but very sketchy rules, no weigh-ins, safety was an issue. Well, like you and you fight, you and you, you know, uh, okay. And you could be fighting an ex-champion or just some guy who could have a really good sort of street ball, you know, you just don't know who you're be matched up with. So here we are at 8517 Franklin Avenue. I'm actually pretty excited to see this one. I've been watching it go up over the last uh, year or so. Fantastic design, brand new construction. Super, super impressed with these guys' work. And this one is gonna be quite a treat. sitting here in the master bedroom there are four beds and six baths and this as they used to say on MTV Cribs is obviously where the magic happens. You have this amazing feature this fire feature with a whole couch from obviously from the bed which is extremely cozy. I could only describe that as a party shower I mean you could probably fit I don't know, six, seven people in there comfortably while you're naked and dripping from your shower, your party bath, whatever it was. You can uh, wander outside, plenty of privacy, maybe top up your tan perhaps, you know, save on one of those spray tans, and all the way back in to the bedroom. So quite an impressive, this is quite the party pad. And, uh, and you know, my partner Lon, he's quite the party lad. <laughs> <laughs> That was quick. You gotta come take a look, because this is a terrific place. 8517 Franklin Avenue, up in the Hollywood Hills. Standing at the exit, 8517 Franklin Avenue. This place took four and a half years to build, and you can see it in the detail. Terrific place. Uh, you have to come see it if you're interested in this type of stuff. It's a very tropical setting, lots of textures, lots of rocks, crystals. You gotta love this place. House of the day. Hi, good morning. Lon here walking through Carthay. It's a terrific place just east of Beverly Hills, historic preservation zone. Let's take a look at some of the really nice houses around here. Hope you liked uh, South Carthay. It's really a nice place. If you want to uh, know more about it, uh, give me a call 818 268 9953. That's Lawn Levin Real Estate. I'm at PLG Estates in Beverly Hills. Uh, we just moved to the Pacific Design Center. It's a terrific place, even if you just want to come over there and have coffee with me. Terrific. Just give me a call. Talk to you later. <laughs>